Top 5 Tourist Routes in Patagonia Shared by Argentina and Chile, Patagonia is a true and extensive natural beauty, which juxtaposes grandiose glaciers, crystal clear lakes, snowy mountains, and vast plains. The list of tours that visitors can do in this paradise, almost untouched by men, is endless, walking, riding, sailing, mountaineering, kayaking, trekking. Let us inspire your adventurous soul. One Trail Towards the Foot of Torres del Paine One of the most iconic and sublime locations of the Chilean Patagonia is the polyvalent Parque Nacional Torres del Paine, which shelters mountains whose name are the dream of trekkers and alpinists, glaciers, crystalline lakes, valleys, and waterfalls, not to mention the abundant fauna and flora. Torres del Paine is the number one flagship of the region, a massif that reaches the height of 3.000 meters and is encircled by a magnificent lake with a shade of emerald green, which can be contemplated from several points of the reservoir. There are several tourist routes to contemplate, but the walk towards the foot of Torres is one of the most popular ones, due to its advanced level of difficulty which, nonetheless, is feasible to take. The trail is strenuous and takes one day, however it offers memorable views over Patagonia. Two off-road in Ushuaia. Ushuaia, the world's most austral city, in the Argentinian portion of Patagonia, offers several activities, on the water, land, and air. One that cannot be left out from the itinerary is the 4x4 road trip, an off-road classic. Reaching difficult places in an unusual way, as it happens with the densest woods and the steepest trails towards the mountains, the tour ensures the contact with some of the nicest and isolated points of this location known as the city of the end of the world. 3 Crossing of Lagos and Dinos The tour between the charming Bariloche, in Argentina, and the ever so gracious Puerto Varas, in Chile, is a paramount hallmark and a popular tourist route in Patagonia. Some parts of this crossing are on land and others have to be sailed through crystalline lakes, in a trip punctuated by several volcanoes, like the Uzerno, mountains with snowy peaks and waterfalls with a mesmerizing shade of green, among other impressive passages. For trekking at Perito Moreno Glacier. El Calafate is a tiny and quiet place, but the gems kept at Parque Nacional Los Glaciers, located in its surroundings, turn this city into a destination for thousands of tourists from around the globe, in the winter and summer. Surrounded by the glacial waters of the Argentino Lake, the region of El Calafate shelters an uncommon amount of ice giants, the reason why it became known as the City of the Glaciers. There, the biggest standpoint is, literally, Perito Moreno, with the height of 60 meters and an extension of 5 kilometers. In addition to contemplating the glacier of walkways laid out on multiple levels, one can also walk on it. The guided tourist route on the ice takes about two hours, using special footwear and crampons, receiving lectures, appreciating the local fauna and flora and observing rifts, sinkholes and the tiny lagoons that are formed inside the glacier. Before the trekking, a boat takes us to Perito Moreno, with several stops so that the participants can enjoy the glacier from several angles. 5 Penguin Watch in Punta Tambo In the Chubut province, part of the Argentinian Patagonia, one of the highest points is the Punta Tambo National Reserve. Located near a narrow peninsula bathed by the Atlantic Ocean, the area is the home of thousands of Magellanic penguins between September and April, the mating season and period when the place becomes the largest continental colony of this species, having more than one million animals. Amid well-defined trails and escorted by guides, the visitors can get quite close to these animals and know more about this fluffy species. <laughs>